we have a very cool announcement coming to us all the way from Poland. This is Energylandia. At least I believe that's how it's pronounced. And they are installing what is said to be the world's tallest hyper coaster. This will be an Intamin. And interestingly enough, they actually had a sort of contest where they said, okay, you decide whether you want the Intamin version or the Vacoma version. And they showed animations made by both companies of what it potentially could be. And Intamin ended up winning, so they made a smart decision. And this looks to be a very solid ride. This is probably one of the few chances where I'm actually jealous of Poland. Probably the only time I'm ever jealous of them. Because this ride looks awesome. Think of like if Millennium Force and Skyrush had a baby, this would be it. And I gotta say, what I love about this is one, that it's a long ride. Two, it has a bit of everything. It has your bank turns, it has your airtime, and it has a super awesome drop. So let's take a look at what we know about the stats. So as we mentioned, it will be the world's tallest hypercoaster coming in at a height of 263 feet. It will have an angle of descent of 85 degrees, almost straight down. And it'll have a maximum speed of 87 miles per hour. That is a very fast hypercoaster. We don't know a track length or duration yet, but we do have a point of view video released. And I gotta say, this thing just looks great. You start off with this incredible drop. You go up into this twist and dive, almost like a dive loop, except it doesn't actually go upside down. And then you stay low to the ground for some bank turns, pop back up into some airtime hills, go into this huge wave turn, and there's a splash effect, which looks really cool. And I gotta say, this just is just a very good looking ride. I think going with Intamin absolutely was a smart choice. The Vekoma version did look solid, and actually what I'd love to see is, now that they have this ride animation for the Vekoma version just sitting around, I'd love to see another park take a look at it and say, hey, we'll build that. So Poland is getting the Intamin version, maybe some other park in the United States will see the Vekoma animation and say, oh, shame that didn't get built, because it really did look solid, like it looked like a good roller coaster. And so who knows, maybe one day a park will decide to build that Vekoma hypercoaster. I have my doubts about it, but I mean, I think that they would have gotten a good ride with no matter who they went with, but I think going with the Intamin version was definitely a smart decision. Now something I want to do real quick is I want to show you what the first animation looked like and then the animation for the final version, which is not the same. There are some differences. So clearly Energylandia decided to pick the Intamin and then they made a few changes. Probably the most notable one is that splash effect, but let's just take a look at the two ride animations right next to each other. The old version and the new. So you can see they both go up the lift hill, they both have the same height and everything, same drop. And the first difference we see is actually the addition of a tunnel, which I think is going to be really solid. So it's just going around the rest of the layout. All of this is the same. Got some twisty sections. Looks good. And then we come to this point where we have an addition of a new ejector airtime hill. And I think that looks very cool. I like that we're going to have that moment of ejector airtime. So then we see our next notable addition, the water splash. Again, I think an awesome change. And then probably the last thing you'll notice is that the old version is actually a bit longer than the new. Now both versions are definitely a long ride, but the new version is going to be a bit shorter than the original animation, which I don't think that's really a big deal. The only thing we are really missing out on was a few bank turns, a little twisty section, but I think that's fine. I think the ride looks spectacular even without that. So those are your major changes in the ride layout. Probably the most notable change is actually that the old version featured just two across seating. The new version has four across seating. So that means double the amount of people riding this coaster per train. The capacity has instantly improved. So this will actually be one of the few Intamins to feature four across seating. Probably the most well-known one to feature four across seating is Skyrush. And then Flying Aces recently did it, but those are kind of identified as winged seats. This looks to not have winged seating at all. Almost more like your B&M Hyper type seating. So I think that overall that's a great change. Also those outer seats are going to provide a slightly different experience than if you're in a center seat. So I think just in conclusion, I think this looks to be an excellent roller coaster. If it wasn't in Poland, I would say I'm going to make it out there to go ride it but it is kind of on the other side of the world in a country that I didn't really have any desire to visit before I saw this ride animation, but I'm sure the people of Poland will love it. I gotta admit, I didn't really know much about Energylandia before this was announced, so that tells us that this will definitely be the best roller coaster in their lineup. They do actually have a fair amount of roller coasters. This will actually be the 11th roller coaster to come to their park according to RCDB. 
So I think that overall that is just totally awesome. Looks to be a great roller coaster. I look forward to seeing construction. This will open in 2018, so it is a bit of a ways away, but it just shows that 2018 is going to be an awesome year for roller coasters. And this only confirms that. So let me know what you think of this new roller coaster. And also, what do you think they should name it? We don't have a name for it yet. I personally don't have any ideas. But if you have any ideas, who knows? Maybe put it in the comment section below and Energy Landia will see it and take your suggestion. I don't know. But that is my analysis of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys later.